fair warning, what you're definitely going to see in my house and probably in yours is gross. So grab some gloves, a cup of coffee, and let's get started. The problem is this. The water is clogging up, it's not able to drain properly fast. We have this style of a drain assembly. So what we need to do is take this out and clean it up. Going under the sink here, we're looking at how this drain assembly works. The best advice I can give you is to take a picture of what the setup currently is because there's nothing like forgetting when you're trying to put it back together. A picture can definitely save the day. This side does not need to get taken apart. Let's see if I can do this without bringing in a tool. Yeah. Channel locks may be necessary if you can't unscrew the rod nut by hand. So I'm unscrewing this part first because if you do this first, you're just bending this plastic. You can see it's already a bit bent. There's been some issue in the past. But you take this part off. And that is quite disgusting. But removing the rod is going to give us the ability to remove the stopper on top. Back on top here. All we have to do, woohoo, disgusting. Let's clean this out now. Outside, in this case, a toothbrush, whatever you use to get inside all the grooves, just so there's nothing for it to immediately start growing again. Whew, disgusting. Sometimes though, you're not gonna be able just to get all of this off. You can see there's just a lot of rust and buildup right here on that mechanism, which is why I am switching out to an entirely different kind of mechanism. Stay tuned on that one. Unfortunately, we are not done. There's a whole lot of gunk that's built up that we need to clean out which the real way to address this is by taking off the assembly, this rest of this drain right down here. However, I will save that for the next video. And in the meantime, see what we can do to clean this up. Now what you should be aware of are there are a couple of holes for the drain system here, the overflow that go down in here. What I don't want to do is to push the gunk into that hole, knowing that that's just, you'll have to do a feel because I really cannot show you what is going on down there. Ooh, hoo, hoo, that's disgusting. Yeah, let's just put that to the side. I'm cleaning out everything from there. Unfortunately, I can also feel that there is gunk built up in there. You kind of get an idea right there when I have the light just right. There is more down there. And basically, you're just pushing it down. That's what needs to happen is take off the assembly down below and push it all out. Clear that line out. But for a quick fix, this part goes back in because this is where that line is going to stick back in. This is going to have to be raised up a little bit as I go down below and reattach that assembly. Let's clean this off. You can see the rust and corrosion from the constant exposure of the rod to water. It's just decimated this. To be fair, this has been at least 10 years in the making. It's time to put the rod back in. I am adjusting the pop-up stopper on top it's easy to feel it engaging. If you pull up on top and it comes out, you know the rod is not inside the hole at the bottom of the stopper. I just can't move it up and down on my own now. When I do this, it adjusts on top. And what you also want to watch out for is cross-threading here. That's very easy to do. That is it. Yeah. 
at this point, this sink drain is just so entirely clogged that everything needs to be taken apart. All of the plumbing down below the sink needs to get cleaned out so that the gunk has a fresh start to start growing again. And that is next week's video. If you add a calendar notice to come up every one, three, however many months in between just simply cleaning the stopper, then it shouldn't get to this point where you have to do an all out clean. And this video is really all you need. However, what if there's a better style drain that doesn't have this problem? I'm gonna give you a preview of a drain assembly that I just put in. This is a pop-up, like a true pop-up drain. Look at how easy that was. That is ridiculous. However, I don't know that I wanna recommend this until I've used it for a full year, just to see, you know, how is it performing? How well is it catching the gunk? Definitely excited to see how well this works because holy smokes, how fast was that to get out? You don't have to worry about any plastic parts bending. It's fantastic or hopefully not rust building up. But like I said, give it a chance to uh, either do really well or not do so well. And as you can see, this is the same sink. All this is is decoration now. Stay tuned on that, though. Very exciting. If you have to do a full on clean, definitely check out this video next. Otherwise, when it comes to this new style drain, I will put whatever the most interesting video on that is right here when it comes out. I hope that your drain is not too disgusting. Thanks for watching and I will see you next week.